This is Matt from the Comic Hall of Roundtable Discussion, and these are 10 books that you should be looking for right now in the wild. They're extremely undervalued. No one is looking for these books, but if you come up across these books, make sure you pick them up now before they get out of reach. Power Man and Iron Fist number one. Now this book is so undervalued right now. With Netflix canceling both shows, canceling everything, throwing it away, Disney's got it. You can almost guarantee at some point they're going to revisit Power Man and an Iron Fist, Daughters of the Dragon, things like this. This is the best time to get books like this when no one is talking about it, no one's thinking about it. I can tell you for a fact I was at the Atlanta Comic Con and the Atlanta Comic Convention last weekend. I've seen this book at both shows. This book was averaging right around 10 to 15 bucks. I'm talking about in mint condition. This is a book that when it gets announced, if it gets announced, you can guarantee this. I, well, I can guarantee that this book is probably going to be seeing numbers of at least 200, 300. Now, I'm not going to say this book's going to be Hulk 181 status, but I can tell you that if they do a good enough job with Shane Chi, which I believe they're going to do, they're going to look at Power Man, they're going to look at Iron Fist, and these are properties that can kind of go right into that mold. So, and, and you just never know if they even might uh, top tie all these guys in together so this is a book right now that can be had at conventions at local comic book stores this is a 20 25 dollar book tops you know 10 on the low end 25 tops so if you can see if you see this book out in the wild make sure you pick this book up batman and robin adventures number 21 this is the infamous question mark cover this is a book that most people are not looking for everyone's tied up with batman adventures number 12 this is a book that is kind of hard to find out in the wild, but it's not too, too expensive at, at this moment. Uh, now, if you go on eBay, you're probably going to see prices ranging from 20 to 50 bucks. I got real lucky. I actually got my copy off eBay uh, about a month ago, and it was actually $9. So that kind of just tells you how this book kind of fluctuate with prices. But if you're out and about, you can probably find this at a comic commission if you're looking hard enough. You can probably find this at a local comic book store if you're looking hard enough. That's if the other uh, investors hadn't beaten you to the uh, the punch. But this is a book that you should be looking for. Uh, nowhere to go but up. Uh, this is uh, one of those great covers that tend to always sell pretty good. And uh, I think this book is a book that probably, probably will catch on down the line. House of Mystery 143, the first John Johns Martian Manhunter appearance. How this book is not in the 200s, I have no clue. But this book can be found roughly around 40, 50, 60 bucks. You may spend a little bit more if you're looking for a CGC, but for a character that's so important in the DC universe, this book is extremely undervalued. I think I got my copy at the time. This is about three or four years ago, but I think I paid maybe 35 bucks for it, which is, a, I'd say if I had to grade it on a one to 10, probably about a six, but this is how undervalued this book is. So if you see this book out, you can probably find this book at flea markets. You can probably find this book at estate sales. People, this is one of those hidden gems that a lot of people just don't know about unless you're a real, real, real diehard uh, DC man. So if you can find this book for pennies on the dollar, pick this book up, all right? I've got every variant of this book that you can name. This is another undervalued book. This book can be had for little as $4 if you look hard enough. This is still sitting in boxes right now. But I can guarantee you, when the first Netflix trailer of this show runs, lights out. Take a look at The Boys. The Boys is killing it. And you see what the price of that book is going for now. Jupiter's Legacy, number one, is an extremely undervalued book that most people are not looking for. This book is going to take off. It's, I, I, I'm anticipating Jupiter's Legacy to be pretty good. I can tell you that with, with Millar having everything bought out, and Netflix is going to be rolling out his shows. You need to be looking for most of his books. And there's another one on this list. But this is the one right now, Jupiter's Legacy, that is so undervalued. It's like four or five bucks. I mean, pennies on the dollar. You can probably find the variants. I think I saw a couple of today on eBay before I even did this. I think I saw, saw a couple of going for like 15 and 20 bucks. These are pennies on the dollar for a book that's probably going to yield you a solid return. So make sure that if you see this book out in the wild, 
you're picking it up. With the comic world embracing the underworld and the vampires and the darkness, why would you not have redneck number one in your stash? This is a great, first off, it's a great comic book. Second off, so I'm not going to ruin it for everybody, but I'll tell you, it, it's one of the great one of the great vampire books that's been out for a while so you you might want to pick this one up i mean it's tankered off so much from when it first came out this book was out of the roof if you could find the ashcan copy for about 20 to 30 bucks pull the trigger i can tell you when this gets to the screen when this gets to the big screen whether it's the small screen or the big one i guarantee you this book is going to go through the roof it's a great read uh i can't quite i can't remember right offhand i don't i don't think they had any multiple prints i think they may have had maybe one or two prints but i don't think it was any more than that if i'm wrong you can correct me in the bottom of the uh the comment section there but this is a book that is when it came out it was already hot and so it just tapered off and you know like i tell you these are the time to you know to go out and get these books when they've tapered off and nobody's thinking about them they're just they're sitting, you know they're in three for five bins you know grab these books this is a solid book redneck number one i can guarantee you when this gets optioned for anything this book's gonna go right through the roof all right black number one from mask comics now this was a very controversial book when it came out due to uh, a couple of the covers but i can tell you this this is it was an excellent read this is a, a book that's probably going to get optioned at some point if it has not already been optioned i you know i don't know but i can tell you this that this is an excellent book to put in your portfolio and if you can find the first couple of variants that those uh, con variants then you are definitely definitely winning all right so this is also going to be a tie all right for this particular uh, number here the other book that you should have is kill or be killed if you don't have kill or be killed number one in your stash shame on you this is a book that you can go find for pennies on the dollar matter of fact they've got four different printings all right get all four they're all great covers it's a great read the uh, I hate it when they when they ended the series this is a book that is pennies on the dollar if you can find it you can probably find this in a set for about 10 to 15 bucks make sure you on the lookout for this book all right another book that's completely under the radar i see them all the time I, i've seen about six of these in one long box at one time alpha flight number one how in the world do you not have alpha flight number one you know that the x-men are on their way to the marvel universe we know they're coming in we know that that anything that has to do with x-men mutants anything you need to be getting it right now because these books are completely undervalued no one's thinking about them everybody's trying to go get eternals one everybody's trying to get anything with the cosmos i saw guys standing standing in line trying to get the first appearance of galactus you should have been getting that four five six seven eight years ago these are this is the perfect time for you to add alpha flight number one to your investment portfolio i'm telling you this book has nowhere to go but up all right this is a book you need to be getting this is it's a great read it's a very very long ran series and i can tell you this and i can i can tell you this because i've seen this with with, with al on our show it took al years <laughs> to complete that run so books are kind of scarce once you start getting up in numbers so some of these scarce some of these books that are way up in number are really scarce so these are undervalued books that you can be getting but but for the focus here it is alpha flight number one if you can find the first appearance uh in, in x-men as a as a, a, a good price go for it but that book's kind of starting to taper off a little bit i mean taper up a little bit and so now it's getting kind of a little lot of a little expensive there to to pick that up but it's still a little undervalued itself so but alpha flight number one this book can be half for pennies on the dollar so make sure you're on the lookout for that okay Harley Quinn number one, the Hughes variant. Oh, not that Hughes variant. I'm talking about the German variant. <laughs> this is why this book is number one. No one has even noticed the cover. Now, notice on the American cover, she's got on, you know, her big girl panties. But then you look at the German variant, 
There's no panties. It's t-shirt only. So make sure you grab this book. 20 bucks. I see I saw this book on eBay before I did this just to see how much it was going for. $29. No one knows this. No one's even thought about it. This is probably gonna skyrocket at some point. This book is so undervalued. I was telling my local local comic book store owner. I told him I said you need to get a copy of this. You need to get it slapped because this book's gonna probably go out of the roof. And I'm telling you, you can get these books multiple copies. Nothing pennies on the dollar. Everyone's getting the other one. It, it, nobody's even noticed it. I talked to a couple of guys in, in the CBSI group. They hadn't even noticed it. So this is a, a book that is completely, I mean completely under the radar. And this is a book that if you see it, grab it. You're probably going to only be able to find it on eBay. Or, you know, if you go out to a shop and the shop just, happen to, just happens to have the uh, foreign variant. But pick it up, man. I mean, you know, you just, you just never know what these kind of books. They're low risk, high reward. All right? And that's going to wrap it up for books that you should be looking for that are completely undervalued and under the radar. I'm Matt Odom from the Comic Hall and Roundtable Discussion. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you check us out on Wednesdays here on the Comic Hall and Roundtable Discussion.